Hello everyone! Uh, today we are going to take a look at adding a label to our form and updating it with VBA. Um, so this is the same sort of thing as we did in the last tutorial uh, with text boxes. Um, so I would usually do this with a label to store the version number of the app um, so that I can update it in my VBA for each version um, check it against what the database is expecting. Uh, I will cover that in a much later tutorial. Um, and the front end will always uh, display what the latest version is or what the version is that you're using rather. Um, so to do this, I will just take a label from here and drop that down onto my form there at the bottom. Um, and I'll just write um, version, actually, version for now. Um, and then I'm going to title this as LBL, LBL version. And let's just set the font, let's have, um, let's set it to 10, um, let's, uh, that'll do, let's make it a bit shorter there. Then I'm going to go into my VBA, so I'm just going to create a new module here, um, which I'm going to call mod global there um, and this is going to store uh, my global variables and various other bits that I'll end up adding into this as we build this up. Um, so we're going to create a public constant variable type in here. Um, so I will cover what that means in a later tutorial um, and the differences between them. Um, for now let's just have public const um, g global string version and I'm just going to set that to 1.0 there okay um, and then within our form load sub um, I'm just going to type up here LVL version dot caption so you may notice that this is different from the text boxes which use dot value um, and then let's have version this space and g string version that's what we called it right um let's just check that it's happy with that which it is which is good so i'll save that yes and then now when we run our form we can see here that it has updated our label down at the bottom there um, with the version number that I saved in our global module. So it's pretty cool, right? Um, if you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below, um, especially if there's anything in particular that you want me to cover, um, just drop me a note and I will try and do so. Um, the next tutorial in this series will be adding in a command button um, which we'll use to then populate the text boxes. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.